Ha! Shay! Ay, ay! Baby Bo G! Tell me if it made, nigga, my people became victims. I was brutal at these boys of land. Gorilla Mole, I'm familiar. Loaded to these niggas, the baby border raise up his chin. He kid with pop. Hey, hey! Shay! Hey, shout out to Dream Chaser. <laughs> shout out to Meek and Top. Hey! 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 Turn it up, speed it up just a little. Here we are with the Memphis Family Exclusive with your boy, Baby OG. Baby OG, let's get a word of a little insight on who you are. Man, I'm Baby OG, you know what I'm saying? An artist from Memphis, Tennessee, South Memphis to be exact. I don't know what it is. Okay. Give us a little insight on an average day for you in South Memphis. Every day for me in South Memphis is just a day I really just ain't got nothing going. Like, I ain't working, I ain't in the studio, I ain't shooting no video. That's an average day for me because every day I'm, I got something going. So, ain't now, ain't they really average. You know what I'm saying? Right. Are you a family man? Yeah, I'm a family man. Okay, community ties? Nah, I ain't got not down right now, but I'm really to get into some community ties. Yo. Okay, and I'm sure some people will reach out to you, you know, help you get you started. You got that direction, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. um, give us a outlook on what you think of the hip hop industry today. You know, we have a lot of different things going yeah. on now. Yeah, see that. To me, though, the hip hop industry today is seventy five percent just fake. You feel know what I'm saying? Yeah. Other 25% bids. So, what type of style are you bringing into the industry? Man, basically, I'm bringing number real, and basically, just stuff that I know. You feel what I'm saying? Because most rappers just be rapping about stuff they don't know nothing about, they ain't never heard, they ain't never seen. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just bringing in factual stuff that I know I didn't actually seen. Like, I ain't just rapping about this. You know what I'm saying? Well, I actually just seen it. What you what got you into the music, or do you have any musical background, like anybody in the family, singers, rappers? Oh, uh, when I was when I was young or whatever, uh, my brother, he's not X or whatever, uh, he from Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. That's where I was born at. But he used to uh, have a studio in my mama's house, and I was bad. And I was little. I used to be cussing. And one day he had the mic roll, and he came in there. He told me, "What the fuck you just say?" And I just started cussing. <laughs> and he made that out of sample right. on the track or whatever, and this is the end of it. Who made me really just want to rap, stuff like that. Who have you worked with, and who are you looking forward to working with? Uh, <clears throat> I didn't work with uh, Black Youngster, Key Glock, uh, Tay Keith, my partner Hickey. He just got signed to Dream Chases with Meek Mill. Uh, so that's about all I didn't work with. Probably work with more, I just can't think of them off the head or whatever. It, it is it right there. Are you looking to remain an independent artist or are you looking to be signed? I mean, <clears throat> if I can work my way up independent, then I don't need the deal. But yeah, I'm, I'm up for a deal though, right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if I blow myself up, boy, yeah. I keep doing what I'm doing and I create my own grind and keep going by the blueprint that I got created, then I don't need no deal. Okay, okay. Yeah. So right now we're on the scene of the Gorilla Mode 2. Video shoot. Give us a little insight on the history or the creating of this. Uh, Gorilla Mode. Uh, <clears throat> we had went to uh, New York and we had met up with Meek Mills or whatever. Mm -hmm. And my partner he kid made a beat in the studio, and Meek was vibing to it. But he didn't want the beat or whatever. Well, he probably wanted. He just didn't say nothing or whatever about it. So when we left, we got back on the airplane. I asked him out for the beat. That was for Gorilla Mode One. And man, while we on the airplane on the way back to the city, after what I just seen, I'm like, man, I gotta go hard. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, man, I knew, man, part, I, mean, I put part one together, it was just really through the together, the video was through the together. But part two, I had to make it special because it ain't just nothing I just made up. I'm actually in my gorilla mode, man. I'm going hard. Right, right. Well, dealing with the today time, hip-hop industry news, which mainly is Nipsey. What is your opinion on the situation with Nipsey? And do you believe, since he's died, not only is the clout up, but it's like a lot of unnecessary I just more feel, on it? I just feel like folks saying the government, some folks saying gang-related, I just feel like 
you know what I'm saying, like he was at the wrong place, wrong time. He mm -hmm. had no security with him, nobody to bag him up, you feel what I'm saying? I just feel like when you a rapper, you're supposed to always keep people around you who going to shake the spot about you, you know what I'm saying, no matter what. And I just feel like he was at the wrong place, wrong time. He probably felt like he was in this city, in his hood, doing his thing or whatever, but he was lacking though. You know, supposedly he was meeting someone there to prepare them for a job and if you get them some little gear, you know, that's what they said. That's why he was there without the security. But you know, a lot of things, but that was the last thing I heard. But we rest in peace to Nipsey Hustle and condolences out to his family. Um, now what tell us what you hope to accomplish this year. This year, I hope to really like build my name up. If I can do it independent, then that's what I wanna do. If not, you know. I'm willing to, you know what I'm saying, seek out for a record deal, if possible. That's my accomplishment for this year. Give me four artists that you listen to on a daily basis, and we can, you know, just more listen to the other. Uh, you know what I'm saying, Meek Mill, Akon, OG Boo Dirty, me, myself. All right. I want you to give a message to your fans here today, and also um, give them access to any outlet that you may be on, that they can reach you for any gigs or videos. Okay, mention to my fans or whatever. Uh, I just feel like we gotta stick together and talk to the kids more because us being rappers, sometimes we could be rapping about some or whatever, and they take it the wrong way. They feel like listening to their artists or their rappers rapping about it, they feel like they can get out there and go do what we rapping about. But in actuality, we really just rapping about what we seen, what we know, and what we heard or whatever. So it ain't to guide nobody the wrong way or. No, nothing like that. I just feel like we need to talk to the kids more, keep the community going in a positive way. But uh, you can find me on Instagram at babog901, Facebook at Nick Young, uh, N I C K space Y U N G, uh, Twitter babog901, same thing. And that's it. All right, that was your Memphis Film exclusive with your baby, OG. Yeah. Yeah. Got love for my niggas. They coulda kept it more real. I was young, dumb, having fun. Put cush in my lawn yeah, Fuck with you like damn town I'm the one caught with the gun Hey, Nick bad ass I used to sell nigga mad Didn't do no work in the class But I had